Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Ramsey Custom Shop. My name is Gary. Getting ready to weld on the top I made for this intake and I'll show you the details of that in another video. But what I want to do in this video is test the strength of these welds to make sure that, you know, they're strong enough before I finish up the project and weld it all in. So I just took a couple of pieces of scraps and uh, what I'm going to do is just cut those out here and then uh, make sure we get everything good and clean like I'll do on the on the main intake when I get ready to weld it. Uh, just wiping everything down, uh, you know, first grinding it off, of course, and then wiping everything down with acetone. And then also uh, making sure everything is, including the filler rod, is very clean. So here you see uh, what I'm using is I've got my Eastwood TIG 200 and I've got it turned all the way up 200 amps. And... Uh, I've got a CK17 torch, which I think is only rated for 150, but these are little short welds I'm doing, so shouldn't be a problem on that. And then uh, I'm also running 50-50 argon and helium, and uh, that should help with the uh, the ability to drive this in, uh, in hot. So once uh, you see here, we're getting both sides of it welded up, just some little welds. What I was looking to see, what I'm looking to see here is that if the quarter inch flat bar bends before the weld breaks. And as you see, I've got it, you know, fitted up in a vise. I'm giving it some good wax, trying to drive the screwdriver underneath it. And what you see happening is the quarter inch plate definitely starts to bend. Um, but then you see uh, as it bends a little bit and I get that driven under there further, that the weld cracks on one side. Now, the, the I would think the good thing about this is it actually did not let go on either side of the weld at, at the actual material where it's fused the material. The weld cracked in the center uh, along the, you know, the, the middle of the weld, basically, the weld puddle. Uh, so I'd be curious to know, is that, a, is that what you would expect? Um, I think it's an indication of good fusion, but what about the actual weld itself? Um, is that what you're supposed to see? Now, I think this is way plenty strong enough for what this application is. I don't believe this is a boosted application. Um, and, and really all it's serving for is that extra boss on top so I could thread uh, those deep threads for these plugs that'll get access to the bolt holes. So leave a comment, let me know what you think, guys.